Hi, I'm James, and today we're gonna to talk about diffusing LED lights. So I've got a bunch of LED lights here, and we're gonna look at different ways to um, reflect the light through materials and off, off materials to kind of spread it out. Uh, I've got a down cam here so that you can see what we're gonna be talking about. Um, so I've got a bunch of LEDs down here um, and a battery. These are the single LEDs that I have. Uh, here's some fairy lights, flip those on. And uh, I've also got some, some sewable LEDs and I have some programmable LEDs. So you can use any of these LEDs for diffusion projects, um, but mostly I'm just gonna be referring to a couple of them for this stuff, but anything that you have, it's all light and it all bounce um, in kind of similar ways. Okay, so, um, so I've got a lot of different materials here. Uh, that we use in different wearables projects. The first thing I have is just a plastic bag, a plastic bag from the grocery store. Um, let me turn on my, uh, my programmable lights. We call these line bits. And they are gonna show uh, just a bunch of different colors and regular LEDs. If you don't have line bits, it's fine. Uh, I just wanna use them as an example so you can see it really well on camera. So this plastic bag, uh, when we put it over the top, you can see the colors leak through. If I used, if I was just to use one layer of the plastic bag and I was to press it down on the lights, it's almost as if it's not even there. You can see the circuit board of the lights and you can see everything behind it. But as I move it slowly away, the lights start to diffuse. And if I crumple this up and put several layers on it, you get some really nice diffusion patterns. Uh, the colors blend into each other and you can't see the individual LEDs anymore. And so that works, with the, uh, that works with the individual LEDs as well. So plastic bags are a pretty cool material to start kind of playing around with. Oh, and here's a skirt made from several strips of plastic bags at one of our Shenzhen runway shows. Uh, next up, I have paper. And I like paper because you can fix the distance away from the LEDs really well. So that's just a nice blue and green tube right there. And uh, if I wasn't to make a tube and instead I was to press the paper flat against the LEDs, then you can't see the circuit board at all, but all the lights shine through in perfect little squares. Um, so paper is pretty cool because you can do a lot of different origami shapes with it and, uh, and you can kind of enforce that distance. Um, it's also really easy to cut up, to tape and to kind of manipulate. Um, some bad parts about it is that if it gets crushed down, it might stay crushed down. So origami shapes that you use like for a wearable, um, you'd have to be careful with them. Here's a full set of paper projects from our Tucson show. This is um, just paper folded back and forth and fairy lights are diffusing through the paper from up above. Uh, oh, next I have a paper towel. So I like paper towels a lot. They diffuse the light really well. They, they, they let more light in than the standard kind of printer paper. Although if you have tracing paper and stuff, that'll let even more light through. But paper towels let a lot of light through and, um, and you don't even need scissors to, to kind of manipulate it. You can just rip it up. Uh, so that's good if you have, maybe if you have really young kids or maybe if you just wanna do some really rapid prototyping um, or if you wanna have a kit of materials that you bring along and you don't want any extra tools, maybe you can't find an airplane with a pair of scissors, paper towels work out really well. And they also kind of hold their shape um, for basic shapes better than paper. You can't, you can't crumple them as, as easily. If I, if I do crumple this up, we can get uh, a range of kind of distances from the LEDs. So some, some different diffusions there. So that'll work with the, that'll work with the individual uh, LEDs too. So we can see the light passing through the paper. And you can also, you can also put these lights on top of things and have the light bounce back down. So diffusion is not just pushing light through materials, it's also bouncing light off of materials to move it away from just a single point of light into something that's more kind of spread out. Okay, so, oh, I also have uh, a cotton pad. Actually, cotton balls and cotton pads work really well. So if I take the, if I take the LED, it bounces off the cotton pad. It bounces off the cotton pad really well. And, uh, and you can also put it underneath and it shines through. So even if, I, even if I have it pressed up against the cotton pad, there's kind of enough distance um, created by the cotton to give it a good diffused effect. Here's a really cool lamp. I actually found this on Etsy. Um, this is all cotton. 
So you can see the cotton right here, and then the LED lights are on the inside of that lamp. Here's another piece of material. So this is some muslin, and just as individual pieces, it lets light through really well. Um, and then as we pull it away, we can see some diffusion, but you can still see the individual LEDs. So with these two t-shirts from our Shenzhen show, the t-shirt on the left has LEDs close to the surface, and then on the right, those LEDs are a little bit farther away. Um, we can see in this skirt, the LEDs are far away from the fabric, so the diffusion is really broad. Okay, I'm gonna high speed through this next part. I've got a bubble wrap shipping envelope, and I'm gonna put some fairy wire into it. So the bubble wrap, uh, each of the bubbles keeps the light away from the plastic, so you get a better diffusion effect that's easier to control. And also the bubble wrap itself is pretty stiff. So when you make a shape and then put it on the inside, it, it all holds together pretty well. So here's a circle, um, I'll do a heart. And so these shapes are easy to kind of pick your placement on. Um, you can also paint the bubble wrap. So here is a beautiful dress from our Shenzhen runway show that's all bubble wrap. When diffusing your lights, pay a lot of attention when you're placing them down to whether you want the lights to diffuse inward or maybe you want them to diffuse in a different direction and you can flip them around and place them in different spots on your fabric. So here's diffusing outward. Uh, another thing to look at is just common, common clothes. So, um, so here is a cotton shirt and uh, it's blue and so we can see when we press when we press the, uh, the shirt against the LEDs, the color shines through pretty much unmodified um, by the color. You'll see different, different materials respond different ways. So check out what you have. Uh, if you can, just get a little single LED that you can bring and that's easy to test how that will diffuse light. If you don't have anything, um, turn on your cell phone light and hold that behind the fabric and see, see how the light shines through stuff. Um, here is a, a sweater sweater material so we can see the light reflects off of it just fine but when we put the light through it there we go yeah, it's a lot harder to see this is really thick material and um, and generally what happens is the light passes through the holes in the material in the in the knit sweater but it doesn't really it doesn't really diffuse so much through the fabric itself um, so if you are looking for materials to use for a wearable project, then just try to walk around with, um, with a piece of light that you can move and that you can hold behind different stuff on the rack or in your craft room. Remember that you can use uh, a big variety of lights. You can use any of the lights that you've got and, uh, and a lot of different materials. So think about the materials that you wanna use in terms of um, what you'll be creating or the skills of your students, what they have, what they've used before, um, and just show them, show them some different ways of kind of diffusing the light with the LEDs and what type of different effects that has. So good luck with your projects and I hope to see you all making great things online and on the runway.